everybody, welcome to Case Mom. So today we went to the Asian supermarket and I'm just gonna do a little haul video for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna do this haul video while I give our purchases a good wipe because that's just basically how it goes nowadays. The new normal. We just have to try and clean everything. So the first one we got is this boba milk tea. Never tasted this before, but we're just going to give it a try, see how it goes. So that's one. And of course, I've got my crisps, or our crisps. I like Piatos cheese flavor. For some reason, here in the UK, I cannot find crisps that are just cheese or plain cheese flavor. So I always go for these ones that I would normally get in the Philippines. I also have buttercream ube crackers. This one tastes really nice, milky. Kids like it for snack. I like it for snack. And it's quite a light kind of crackers. Let's put this away. I also got this frozen steamed bananas or nilagang saging. Simply because I like sabah, but you can't get sabah here. This is the closest thing I can get for sabah. Sabah is it's like a plantain, but as you can see, it's a lot shorter and thicker or more squarish looking than the usual plantains you could get in the supermarkets here. So this is like a cooking banana that we have in the Philippines. You can use it for your stew. You can cook it for dessert. We have a thing called turon. It's basically you wrap this in like a spring roll wrapper together with jackfruit and then you deep fry it and you pour caramel sauce on it and it's yummy for dessert. You can also put it in a dessert in the Philippines called Halo Halo which is basically different things all mixed up together with crushed ice and milk. Very good for summer. This is the closest thing I can get because you can't get the raw one here. You can only get this steamed one frozen. So yeah, I got it. And the other frozen stuff that I got here is called pork tocino, which is, I think, cured pork. So, I can't tell you what the ingredient. I don't know how to make this, but basically when you cook it, it comes out all sweet and sticky, and it's really good, especially for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. For all, whatever time of the day, really. <laughs> You can eat that. Pork tocino. This is this would not be the brand that I would normally get in the Philippines, but this is the only one you can get here, so I just got this one. And I got more snacks, because you know, movie time at home is one of the best pastimes you can do nowadays when you're trying to stay home as much as possible. So I have boy bawang. This one is in chili cheese flavor, so it's basically, what do you call it? It's it. It's not popcorn, it's crispy corn, <laughs> corn rolls or something like that, but it's nice and it's not hard or too chewy or anything like that, it's just crispy. So anyway, I got two of these. Oh, I got this one, Monk Tomas All Purpose Sauce because... If I ever cook pork belly again and there's leftover, I can turn it into lechong pak siu. I can't really explain to you what lechong pak siu is, but it's basically pork, crispy pork, and you sort of cook it in this sauce. It's good, and you eat it with rice. So I got one. And I also have another snack. It's the super sticks. So they're basically wafer sticks with chocolate filling inside. Well, this one anyway has chocolate filling inside. You could get different flavors. I have some crispy seaweed snacks. This one is Korean barbecue flavor. 
because I like to put this on my ramen when I make ramen which you guys if you haven't seen the video yet I am going to leave a link in the description box below or up at the top of this video and speaking of bubble tea or boba I'm planning to make my own it's not gonna be great bubble tea or anything when I say bubble tea I'm just basically drinking cold tea whatever flavor I want with tapioca pearls in it so I got this black sugar flavor which it says here it would be ready in five minutes I do not know if that's true we'll find out and the other one that I have is taro flavor or what's taro flavor sort of like purple maybe it's like purple yam it could be purple yam or ube because it looks purple so so I have two of them this one will be ready in three minutes it says this is a kid's snack it's called Hawthorne flakes it's I think this is more like a tamarind candy of some sort they're just candy really and the kids like it they're, they come in like small flakes almost looks like a when I was a kid I would think of it like it's like a communion bread but it's, it doesn't look like anything like that. It doesn't taste anything like that. But this is just candy, really. Oh, and of course, we have kimchi. I love kimchi. It has a very nice flavor. This is from, is this fermented? Fermented cabbage? Oh, we also got this Chinese curry sauce paste. I think you can get this anywhere. This one is another candy. Uh, I've, I'm just guessing that this is another one of those tamarind flavor candy. I'm not sure. It's basically just candy. My daughter wanted to get it. And I've got Filipino sardines. Mega sardines. This one is in tomato sauce. Hot. And of course, we like cooking sinigang. If you guys don't know what sinigang is, um, it's basically tamarind flavored brothy soup or brothy stew, which can be cooked with either pork, fish, or shrimp, or even chicken. And if you guys want to know how we make sinigang, I can also leave the link in the description box below or maybe put it up here at the top of this video so you can see what I'm talking about. This is called Sinigang Sa Sampalok Mix by Noor. This is what it looks like. It's a tamarind mix because we can't get fresh tamarind here as you know and even in the Philippines when you can get fresh tamarind a lot of people use this because it's just handier, it's easier to make. Okay, the next one I have here is a jar of kaong, candied fruit in syrup. This is from palm sugar, sugar palm? Is it palm sugar or sugar palm? This is one of the things that we put in halo halo, which I mentioned earlier. And then another halo halo ingredient is this one it's ube ube sweet purple yam spread i also have nata de coco or coconut gel in syrup another one of those um halo halo ingredients if you want to know about halo halo what it looks like what i'm talking about i have a video about it that i'm gonna link again in the description box or at the top of this video and lastly, jackfruit or langka in syrup. Again, you can use this for that banana thing that I told you about, the turon. You can use it with that or you can also use it for halo halo. And the last one I have is another junk food <laughs> or snack. It's clover chips. Again, cheesy flavor because like I said, I like cheese anything snacks 
so I got it. So that's it. That is everything that we have for this haul. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and share.